Good morning. Good morning. Is anybody there? Hi. Good morning. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And we're neighbors. Hi, y'all. Wake up. Wake up, Sally. I think I got something to say to you. Wake up, Sally, Maggie. I think I got something to say to you. Maggie, oh Maggie. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh. <clears throat> okay. Listen, y'all. It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. And we are definitely mm. all neighbors. I'm excited that we're still neighbors. But listen, okay. All right, I don't know if y'all heard the beautiful news, but it's being reported and, it's, you know, alleged, because I don't want to be stupid. You know, people get all testy about it. But they're saying, y'all, that Tony Braxton is married. She's a married woman. They're saying that she and Birdman is married. So congratulations to Tony Braxton. Hi, Lisa. You come calling me all late and stuff, girl, when I didn't already left the place. I tell you, just like a black person. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Hi. But anyway, yeah. So I'm excited about it because if Tony Braxton is married, congratulations. She deserved love. And she and Birdman deserve each other. They both love one another and cherish each other. And you know what better than to have love, honey? Love is a mended, splendid thing. We need more love, honey. I need love. You need love. We all need love. So congratulations to Tony. Uh, congratulations to um to Tony. Yeah. All right. Um. You know why we congratulate Tony? Y'all, let's pray um for um Lori Harvey. I don't know if y'all heard the disturbing news, but they're saying Lori Harvey's back in the streets. She back to the streets because her and Idris Desmond or whatever his damn name is Desmond Damon Isman whatever him. It's after a whole long year, they broke up. Child. Hi, Gloria. They said they broke up, y'all. So if Lori Harvey and um, Idris broke up, honey, I mean, hey, nobody's thinking. They saying that Lori Harvey, honey, she is the um, the curse of Lori Harvey. They say, honey, that Miss Harvey don't play those games, honey. She get you and get you right on out. But, you know, my thing is this, though, to all you beautiful ladies out there. You get old. And, honey, I mean, right now she's young, so she could date as many men as she want to date and stuff. I mean, the Kardashians did, but they'll never, she'll never be as rich as the Kardashians because the same antics that the Kardashians tried and played, it doesn't work well for black women. Because you remember, honey, as an African-American, African-Americans don't have the same luxury as their counterparts do. So Miss Kardashian could do a sex tape and become a billionaire as opposed to Keisha does a sex tape and they don't even buy it. So that's just how the game is played, though. So, But nevertheless... Yeah, I was told that they kind of hang out. They all are friends now. But the thing is, though, too, if they are friends, honey, them Kardashians ain't going to let Miss Harvey, honey, get too close to their man. But then on the flip side of it, Laurie don't have to worry about them because the men that want the Kardashians don't want her. Those men don't want black women. So, you know, there you go. So either way it go, honey, she still loses this. But nevertheless, we're just going to keep her lifted in prayer. And hopefully, you know, that everything goes well. And, you know, she gets her a good, um, a good man and stuff, though, honey. But, like I was saying earlier, we all are getting old, so you might as well go ahead on and get what you, not so much get what you can, you ain't got to settle, but you just need to get them, um, you're a nice person, and settle down with them, because nothing is forever, so that means a relationship is not forever, and none of this other stuff is forever, so honey, just love who you love, but honey, you know, make sure the person you love, love you back, uh -huh, so you ain't got to switch them out every week, or what have you, you know, you just got your nice person, and, you know, y'all just work it out together, honey. So, but as for the Tony Braxton thing, I mean, Tony got money and Birdman has money. So, you know, when you got people that have money, you know, I mean, you could always get together with them for a minute. And if you don't like them, you know, just say, okay, bye. They got a prenup and a postnup. So the prenup, you know, that's what you sign, honey, when you're just getting into the marriage and the relationship. The postnup is your exit plan. So I want to go with what I came with. For the most part, and then a little extra that we work together. So more rich people are doing the posting up now. So if y'all got somebody with money, or if he got a city job or something like that, y'all don't need no nup, honey, because she ain't got no too much money for y'all to even share or anything like that. So, you know, there you have it. But Tony has her own money, and Birdman, he got his own money too. So, 
you know, I don't know how they, how they work that out. But, I mean, some people say, why would Tony Braxton marry Birdman? I mean, he's a very attractive man. Mm-hmm. Y'all look at Birdman. Mm-hmm. I mean, he got tattoos all in his face and everything. That's the new look. Men with tattoos in their faces, women gravitate to them because nothing better than to have a man with a tattoo in his face. It makes the other people afraid of him and you got somebody that's going to protect you. Yes, protect you. He's not like um, Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union. You know, I don't know what people saying that they divorced him. You know, they said Gabrielle Union is Dwayne's alleged, uh, his his beard. But I think everybody got a beard now. They're making every damn body with a beard, honey. I, I mean... Yes, um, what's his name, um, Dwight Howard. I mean, yes, honey, he liked boys, and he liked girls, too. But, I mean, I don't think everybody is like Dwight Howard, uh, you know, like trannies and stuff. Because there's nothing wrong with the transgenders. They call them chicks with dicks. So why not a man not want a chick with a dick? I mean, because he got the best of both worlds. He got a man at the um, bottom and a woman at the top. So, I mean, congratulations, honey. I mean, you know, to... The white and, you know, to whomever, you know, whatever they love, honey. Whatever you love, honey. So congratulations, honey. This is a new day and time now. I'm not partaking in it, but if that's what you want to do, knock yourself out. Hey, Betty, Betty, you know about it. So just knock yourself out. Though. So, hey, just do what you got to do, honey. Hey, just, you know, there's nothing wrong with a chick with a dick, honey. Because, like I said, that's the new thing. So, hey, you know. Just join the club, honey. That's right, honey. Let them do what they want to do, honey. But no. But for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. That's right. So, they, oh, they're calling me back. Oh, my God. Hold on, honey. They're calling. Well, let me go back in the studio, y'all. I'll be right back. So don't y'all go nowhere, okay? Okay.